What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And uh, for all my viewers that are subscribed to the channel and that are always up to date with all my builds, I apologize for being out. Uh, I was out sick and um, you know, what can I do? Uh, but anyways, today we are here, we're back and I got some work done. I have a video for you guys, I hope you enjoy. Uh, working on Angel's truck, V8 Nation, one of my friends uh, truck at, which I met him through YouTube also so uh, we're back more great news is that I'm finally able to do YouTube full-time because one of my main things that was holding me back is that uh, I just never had time I had one day out of the week maybe and only a couple of hours that's if I had that day uh, only a couple of hours it's, re it's really hard to do you know what you need uh, with such little time but anyways, we're back. We're gonna start spraying Angel's truck. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So let's get to it, let's get to it. So this is Angel's truck, V8 Nation. Um, this is his Sierra Denali. He calls it a white body. He has a quad steer bed, just a little bit smaller than a dually. Um, so he likes the short and wide look. So I told him I was gonna help him out with the paint and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna start off with the high build primer. This is the sandable primer and I got it in black. So we're gonna spray the whole truck the whole truck has already been sanded, the body fill has been worked, and you know everything has been wiped. This is the primer. This is the Autobahn Super Fill. So this is a sandable primer. Uh, this one mixes four parts primer to one part activator. You can find these products over at uh, autopainthq.com. They have like lots of products, primers, sealers, base coats, paints, and like uh, clears. They always send uh, also like some mixing cups, mixing sticks, and everything you need to you know help you out with your um, with your paint. Um, so right here I have the data sheets for the super build, the, the sealer, the base coat, and the clear. So we're gonna start with the Autobahn Super Fill. I sanded down the super fill and now the truck is ready to be sprayed. Uh, I wiped it down and um, everything is clean. I threw some water on the floor uh, just so I can like collect the dirt or whatever. Uh, the plastic right here, I moved it to the inside of the door, removed the weather strip from right there. Uh, that way I can add some sealer in here and uh, I'll paint that as well. Over here at the back end, everything is sanded. Driver door. There it is. 
right now I'm just gonna cover this and that uh, <clears throat> but um there's a truck everything is ready to go these right here these are covers for like RV trailers uh, for the tires whenever they're parked for a long time so they won't be dry rotted or anything like that uh, so I bought these just to help the overspray that way they don't land on the wheels uh, right here the first thing I'm gonna do is just paint the inside door jams and then I'll close the doors and then I'll start from the top spray everything I'm gonna use the little bench I'm gonna spray everything on top and then go over to the sides you know so let me show you the paint next up is the primer sealer uh, this one mixes four parts primer one part activator I did two coats after all and yep everything is looking pretty damn good next up the base coat this is the black crystal diamond uh, really beautiful color I had already sprayed this one uh, previously in some of my other videos uh, but this one Autobahn so this one right here it reduces one to one one part base to one part uh, reducer uh, for normal height like in this case I used the sealer so everything is black so I only need to you know like I could reduce this on a one-to-one -one. Um, if you want a little bit more coverage this is black though uh, so it covers really well but anyways if you want more coverage uh, you could do two parts paint and then one part activate I mean reducer that we can reduce it less and it's more you know thicker be able to cover more
base coat. Base coat only. No clear. Just take the take this mask off. You can see the the dri the sweat just dripping from inside the mask. It is hot. It's hot in, inside this mask. Um, it's not that it's hot in here. It is hot, but it's mostly because there's no air circulating. I have those fans right there pointing out, and. Um, that's pretty much it. I have an open window over there on the other side, but <clears throat> check it out. We just uh, sprayed the clear over the Autobahn, Black Twisted Diamond. Uh, I'll turn on the flashlight, and this is the back side between the bed. I'll turn the flashlight so you guys can see. It is such a beautiful color. It is such a beautiful color. Uh, although it's just black right now, uh, once you take it out into the sun and once the sun hits it, uh, this black has a pearl metallic, uh, it's, it changes colors because it's like a pearl metallic so it has like you know, blue green and you know all those shades of pearls I guess, uh, but let me go ahead and flip the camera around. Uh, just the base and clear right there came out pretty good the reflection that you see kind of cloudy is this plastic right here but it does look pretty good and once we go ahead and do a 
wet sand and buff it. It's gonna come out perfect, bro. perfect. That's it for uh, this part of Angel's truck. The Autobahn Black Crystal Diamond. So, truck is parked outside. I already unmasked it. And uh, the only thing left behind in here is just a bunch of overspray, some wrapping paper, and um, an oil stain. But I'm gonna leave the truck out outside for the rest of the day. I'll park it back inside before I go home. Uh, I'm gonna leave the cut and buff till I finish painting the truck, I mean the, the bed, which I already started sanding. Uh, which brings me to the next topic uh, the cut and buff I have the option of doing the wet sand you know but I do everything by hand or I also have some of the Eagle abrasives uh, Eagle abrasives they have like the K series sandpaper which just sands like extremely fast it's like if you're cutting with a 600 grit sandpaper it cuts just as fast as like a 400 uh, but the, the, the finish is still the same the 600 but like really smooth, really uniform, like this right here, for instance, I was cutting right here, the 600, and that's with the, um, with the, with the little pneumatic palm sander. So that's the uh, Eagle abrasive, it's a K600 right here. Uh, but for the cut and buff, I'm still gonna use like the 2000, 2500, or 3000 uh, in those. Those are like the flexible latex abrasive. Uh, but they cut extremely fast, so I'll probably use that for the cut and buff. And I still have some of the Kova uh, the Kovacs. Uh, that's the ultra uh, the compound polish. It's really good, really good. So that black is gonna look amazing. If you guys want to see the end results, like after the polish, stay tuned to the video. Subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you guys in the next video. The truck is parked over there. In the meantime, just you know baking but definitely come back. So hope to see you here in the next one and uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.